आई एम इन्वाइटिंग कॉम्रेड मणिक सरकार द फाउंडर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा टू इनाग्रेट दिस पब्लिक मीटिंग Good afternoon, everybody present here. Comrade President of this gathering, he is the President of the Students Federation of India now. Comrade Moyuk, General Secretary of the Students Federation of India now. other leaders of the students federation of india sitting on the dais i am told more than 700 delegates actually they are the fighting leaders of the student struggles of different parts of the country india they are here representing their struggle and my beloved students of telangana at the outset i would like to convey my heartfelt greetings to you all i must say that people from among the telangana who have extended their supporting hands to host this conference of the students federation of india here in telangana without their help this cannot be organized here i must mention really i do feel happy to be in the midst of students not only in tripura but any parts of the country because they are the future of our country however your conference is being held in such a situation when our country is passing through a very complicated phase i am mentioning categorically phase because what is going on nowadays don't think this will continue in a perpetual manner people of our country will change it that's why i have mentioned a phase what i would like to say rather i should say the situation of our country is really very very bad rather it should be said it is turning bad to worse why i am saying so right from education to all other sectors which are embracing the common people of our country they are interest and question related to the prosperity and advance of our country is not under attack under the leadership of rss dictated bjp what is the state of affair of our education in the name of 
national education policy the government of india led by bjp in a very calculative manner from their class point of view ideological stand they have been trying their level best to create division among our students community between elite and non elite that is poor semi middle class and middle class irrespective of caste creed and color and among the non elite covering scheduled tribe dalits obese and particularly the minority especially the muslim minority and christians bjp led central government consciously they have been withdrawing their responsibility to discharge in the field of education rather they have been trying their level best to transfer it to the hands of the private capital so that the private capital can convert the field of education as an important sector of business for profit making and maximization of their profit the lion part of our students community covering scheduled tribe dalits minorities poorest of the poor of our society with the background of poor economy they are going to be deprived of their birth right of getting education this is a dangerous attack on the growing community of our society and particularly what i would like to stress that is the content and curriculum of education what is going to happen in the hands of bjp rss is dictating and controlling everything with their ideological standing what is the objective of education from our childhood we used to learn listen education means to develop our children our future of our country to a real human being they should be truthful honest sincere free from self centric attitude they should have feeling for the fellow people particularly the common people who are suffering most belonging any community to take care of their problem and stand by their side as far as possible and practicable on their own position and at the same time they should develop scientific temper they should have positive understanding with the democracy democratic rights civil liberties and also about the secular principles of our country and they should have love for the country they must develop themselves as patriot of our society with all this a proper human being can be developed but i am sorry to mention the way rss dictated bjp is changing the content and curriculum of our education in the name of new education policy they have started marching just opposite to all these things which i have mentioned in they the are trying to 
develop our students' community self-centric. They are actually trying to develop in their feeling the revivalist outlook instead of scientific temper and progressive outlook. They are distorting the history and historical ethics of our country and particularly with regard to the history of our independent struggle. So if all these things are there in the content and curriculum of our education, how our boys and girls will be able to develop himself or herself as a real human being, you have to think of all these things. This education policy is completely destructive against the interest of the country and its nation. Should this education policy is allowed to implement, this should be prevented. This should be prevented and the government of India should be forced to withdraw this destructive education policy. Under the leadership of Students' Federation of India, throughout the country, in campus to campus, and also the students, they have been coming out from the campus on the roads itself, mobilizing others. They have been trying their level best to protest it. Here, I would like to request the leaders of the Students' Federation of India. They will discuss in this conference itself. But what I would approach that this struggle of this against this destructive education policy should not be confined only to the students' community of our country. At the same time, teaching community, the people who have love for the education, who have love for the country, who have love for our children and the future of our country, they should also be mobilized. It should be added to a strong, broad-based national struggle to force the government, led by BJP, dictated by RSS, to withdraw this dangerous education policy. Until and unless this struggle is developed to such a pass, this cannot be prevented and proper education policy force them to adopt taking in mind the interest of the country as well as our children. This has to be done. This is the most important task before this conference. I am definite the Students Federation of India, they are going to discuss and debate on this. You the students, thinking of after completion of your education, particularly in the institution, might be school, college or universities. To get a job, to take care of your family, financially, economically, and also after having done this, you will also think of discharge your social responsibilities, discharge your responsibilities with regard to the interest of the country and nation. In 2014, the present Prime Minister, before becoming Prime Minister, in the Parliament campaign, election campaign, he promised every year if they are getting elected in the government of India, two crores new jobs will be created. So now, already, they have elapsed six years. So by this time, it should have been. 12 crores, 13 crores, what is your experience? Now, even in the last parliament election 2019, the present party prime minister did not utter a word about his first promise of creation of new post taking care of the problem of the unemployed youth, whom they misled during 2014. Why is job? 
the younger generation of our country, particularly under the leadership of Democratic Youth Federation of India, together with SFI, state to state, they have started raising the voice, where is my job? Provide job. I want to construct my country. I love the country like my mother, but you are not using my working capacity, strength, and love for the country. No answer. Lakhs and lakhs of government posts are lying vacant. The government of India does not bother for fill up all those vacant posts. Crores of crores of young people, boys and girls, they are searching for job, employment. And I should say, during last five, six years of BGP role, the 50 years experience of unemployment problem, they have crossed, crossed all limits, but they don't bother for all these things. They have changed their policy of recruitment. They are, whatever recruitment here and there, they are doing, not giving regular posting. Not giving regular posting. It is yours and throw. There is no guarantee for the unemployed youth who are going to get some jobs. They have no future. And you might have seen, in the name of Agnipath, every year, earlier, he used to employ 60 to 65,000 boys, younger boys, in this army. That is the pride of our country. They are actually providing security of our country from the outside attacks. The policy of recruitment in the army they have changed and this job will be allowed only for four years and after four years out of 100 they will recruit only 25 75 will be thrown out they don't bother for all of them this is what is going on from where you are going to get job you may be engineer you may be doctor you may be master degree holders they are also trying to get a group D category employment. For 100 jobs, more than 5 lakhs people are applying for getting job. This is what is going on. All these are being happened due to the wrong policies being persuaded by this government led by BJP under the control of RSS. What is going on there in the agri sector and also in the trade union sector? Where I am dealing this, I like to mention this because lion part of our part of our children who are going to school, thinking of going to school, they are the boys and girls of peasantry, farmers workers and working people. In agriculture sector, you have watched after the independence of our country, historical struggle was led by the farming community of our country in front of the political capital of our country, that is Delhi. One year long, Thousands and lakhs of farming community people, they have gathered, not only in Delhi, throughout the country. Ultimately, at one point of time, Prime Minister of India was forced to bow down his head and committed to take care of their problem. But what he is doing now, he has cheated them. He has not implement any one of his commitment. Now again, the farming community, peasantry, they have started their struggle coming out of their house 
and mobilizing in the field and the advance section of this student of this farming community they are going to organize their conference like you the sfi here in hyderabad they are going to kerala to organize their conference to chalk out their future course of action that is struggle the government of india they are not helping the poorest of the poor peasants not quality seeds fertilizer pesticides irrigation financial help moreover above all they are not getting supporting price of their produce in that way thousands and lakhs of people who have been working in the agricultural sector getting frustrated they have started leaving this sector and searching for another job and income for their livelihood if this is allowed to continue what will be the future of our country who will provide us our food but government of india does not bother for all these things trade union people all their democratic rights trade union rights with large chunk of those they earned even during before independence struggle of our country from the hands of unruling britishers and after independence they have added some more of that demands but now one after another more than 40 42 of their democratic rights trade union rights all these have been snatched and there is no guarantee of their job and there is no right to bargain for their increase of wages and good atmosphere healthy atmosphere of their working place rather the government of india bjp government they are more interested to take care <coughs> of the interest of corporate house monopoly capital those who are at the cost of the working class working people they are actually building their assets and profit maximization which is their ultimate goal that is what they are doing dangerous situation if the agricultural sector the trade union sector they suffer how our boys and girls because of their children how their future will be prosperous you have to think of all these things but the people of our country right from students to agriculture little workers farming community working class working people they are not bowing down to all these attacks rather they are countering organizing themselves in the field of struggle one after another to weaken it to divide it to misdirect it to mislead them the bjp led government at the center they have adopted divide and rule policy on the basis of religion caste creed and particularly they are trying to create division between the hindus and muslims <laughs> hindus and christians muslims and christians is a very dangerous move but despite all these things people are not bowing down rather they are trying their level best to organize themselves with new vigor so now the government of india they have started attacking democracy democratic rights civil liberties secular fabrics of our country and particularly the constitution of our country this is the gift of our independence struggle and in this constitution some organizations have been built those who can move independently including election commission and judiciary the government of india they are trying to even influence them and 
create trouble for their independent activities. You have been observing all these things. So this is a very dangerous move. And also, people of our country, gradually, gradually, they have been trying their level best to mobilize themselves to prevent all these attacks until and unless all these attacks are countered, prevented, country will not be saved. If country is not saved, how the future of our children will be saved and prosperous. One of the basic content of our constitution is parliamentary democracy. That is being attacked in the hands of BJP like anything. They are forcing the election system of our country and they have been adopting corrupt practices. I don't like to take much of your time. In this way, they don't want to see any opposition of BJP. Right from center to state, destroying federal structure of our country. That is also another important <coughs> basic content of our constitution related to democracy. They are destroying it. They are moving towards one party dictatorial role. Content is fascistic. No doubt about it. In that way, only to take care of the interest of the corporate houses and their ideological stand to convert India a Hindu Rashtra that is fascist Hindu Rashtra one nation one country one religion what all these things but our main ethos is unity and diversity that is what the BJP RSS they are attacking like anything. So thereby, now the time has come to gather people of our country, particularly those who claim themselves they are democratic, those who claim themselves they are secular, those who claim themselves they like the country as their mother, who would very humbly appeal to them, come together. Mobilize yourself. Try to develop broadest possible unity among the democratic and secular minded forces and people, including the individuals, to prevent all this fascistic attack led by BJP, controlled by fascist RSS. Until and unless it is prevented, nothing can be saved of this country. So thereby, I would request that in this regard, the students' community of our country, they have a historic role to play in the coming days. This organization, it takes the route from the All India Students' Federation that was built in the year 1936 during British Raj. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi appeal to the students' community of those days. Now, stop going to schools and colleges. You will get enough time. But now, it is the importance to you to come out from the institutions, gather with the people who are struggling for independence, take important role, encourage the people, and oust this British trust from India. That was the appeal. And 1936, the All India Students Federation was built. From that, the Students Federation of India has come today. You are going to organize your conference, perhaps 17 conference. Here, what I would like to request, students, they shall have to play a very, very important role, encouraging role, decisive role, not to mobilize the students' unity alone. Agricultural community, trading community, employees and teachers, business community, who are not under attack? Scheduled caste, 
scheduled tribes obcs and particularly the minorities until and unless this is done students community of our country cannot discharge their historical responsibilities the whole nation is watching very keenly about your activities and functioning they want to get a proper guideline from you to the students community of our country for their future course of action i believe that the students federation of india will not leave any stone unturned to direct the students government to india to a right path from this floor of your 17th all india conference isolating and defeating bjp politically and ideologically has to be done without defeating bjp and rss all your burning demands essential demands and for the prosperity of the country and nation cannot be fulfilled that has to be done that needs to be done that is the demand and requirement of the hour i believe the students federation of india 17th all india conference will give a clarion call on this particular aspect to mobilize the students all over the country and with this i believe the conference will obviously be successful and they will go out from the floor of this conference with new vigor with this i like to conclude thank you all ee deshanni ee deshanlo bjp ni odinchakapothe ee mata chettulu ondarni chesi ee nirankucha pogadanu tippi kottakapothe ee deshaniki bhadrata undadu andukane 17th sfi akila bharata mahasabha andukosam shankaravam chestundane poorthi vishwasanto nenu meeku abhinandanalu cheptu meeku mee sabha jayapradam kavalanu korutu selavu teesukuntunnanu